This is Witchface News for Friday the 21st of June 2024. I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous news this week, explore the lore of Elite Dangerous with a new interactive tool. It's the final days for Indra as the alien behemoth is about to come under attack and did Sirius really attack Achilles in the heart of Alliance Space. If you haven't already remember to subscribe to the channel and click the little bell to make sure you see all our videos and community posts and if you'd like to help support the channel links to our Patreon and everything else are in the description below. As I continue to be completely incapable of pronouncing Elite Dangerous in French correctly I am this week once again indebted to Optimus Koala from L'Elite Dangereuse for the use of their soundbite. Our friends over at L'Elite Dangereuse then, as well as publishing story based adventures that you can follow both in and out of the game also carry a number of Elite Dangerous tools on their website which you can find linked below. Their latest and greatest addition is the Lore Explorer which, as perhaps the name implies, attempts to import the masses of data surrounding lore, characters, galnet stories and occurrences in the game and then display them as a fully explorable visual data cloud of interconnected nodes. The cloud of nodes can then be searched or explored quickly and easily showing how any given thing in the cloud is connected to any other. The results of any exploration or search are shown in the right hand side which will display any relevant galnet stories, steps needed to unlock, the exact nature of the thing you're exploring so for example an individual, a data beacon or a place etc or any other pertinent information. You can of course then take that information yourself back into the game and go and find it for yourself should you so desire. It's a very useful and powerful resource in just this initial implementation. So useful in fact that I used it this week as a reference point when putting today's script for this very video together. The pure utility of visualising the colossal amount of story, incidents, places, happenings and people within Elite Dangerous makes the Lore Explorer worth a visit alone and once you start clicking and reading you'll likely start falling down a rabbit hole chasing some random bit of lore and just like that it's a week next Tuesday already. You'll find Lily Dangereuse website linked below this video. The latest titan to draw the community's ire following the Thargoid invasion of the bubble holds control of 32 systems as at the time of this recording. Its defensive level which is an indication of its ability to directly resist damage to its 8 hearts is shown as extremely high as a result making a direct attack pointlessly difficult. Human anti xeno forces liberated 37 Thargoid controlled systems from the clutches of the vile interstellar wobble weeds last week meaning barring any unforeseen incidents by this time next week Indra will likely have control of no systems at all and that makes its 8 hearts completely vulnerable. All this essentially means that Indra would be best placed to not make any long term plans for beyond next week unless of course those plans involve having the stuffing knocked out of themselves before stewing in their juices for 24 hours and then exploding and spreading themselves across a wide area because it appears that is almost inevitable at this point. The fifth of the eight invading titans is about to go for an early bath and the human counter attack moves into what must now be the end game for the Thargoid war. Again as at this recording at least the Thargoids have shown no real tangible desire or ability to swerve from their current course attempting to save the last four soon to be three titans from receiving the same nanite salad that has consumed their previous four compadres. If something or indeed someone is going to stop the last four titans from becoming historical footnotes then it seems likely it will happen fairly soon. At this point it does seem the writing is on the wall for Indra. Whether Koshiho, Raijin and Thor similarly get shown the airlock is yet to be determined. 
If you're looking to collect another store for your titan plapping decal plus all the other benefits that come from that activity then it's a safe bet that Indra will likely become a brightly lit but highly caustic dust cloud sometime next weekend. According to a Galnet news article published on Thursday this week, a facility based in the Alioth system that houses production of the new Achilles Aerospace Super Cruise Overcharge frameshift drives was attacked yesterday by what the article refers to as quote ...a small group of individuals piloting a ship loaded with high impact explosive weaponry unquote. The article goes on to say that the individuals aboard the ship had used incredibly sophisticated technology to forge the appropriate credentials needed to get deep inside the facility and even Achilles themselves are unsure how this could have happened. Having gotten past the first checkpoint in the facility the assailants were eventually intercepted by Achilles automated security robots and it was then that a firefight ensued which the article insists was instigated by the would be saboteurs and not by Achilles security. The ne'er do wells didn't survive the encounter and the piece from Galnet is saying that the assailants were not identifiable by any active database. The immediate and obvious questions this incident raises are a who was behind the attack and b what were they looking to achieve. The immediate and possibly equally obvious responses to those questions from most quarters are a the serious corporation and b disrupt production of the SCO frameshift drive. Sirius won't like Achilles as the introduction by the latter of the SCO capable FSD has fairly squarely rained on the monopoly previously held by the former. The use of highly advanced technology to bypass Achilles security protocols would also seem to point to an organisation like Sirius who, one would presume, have easy access to such things. An open and shut case surely. For a case of simple corporate rivalry between two of the galaxy's foremost technological giants however the attack feels like an extremely blunt instrument like trying to thread a needle using a lump hammer and wearing boxing gloves. You would imagine that if Sirius really wanted to disrupt the production of the SCO drive then something altogether more subtle would be going on. All that has transpired so far is that the reputation of the Sirius core has been tarnished which feels a bit like saying someone else made Genghis Khan look tyrannical and it wasn't just Genghis Khan acting all tyrannical and tyranting it right up at the slightest provocation. So is it possible that someone might want the Sirius Mega Core to look worse than they already do? Entirely possible I'd imagine. The Achilles Corporation for example would have everything to gain from bringing down Sirius. So are we then looking at a fake attack perhaps? It's hard to see what Achilles might gain from such an action. They are, I would imagine, doing quite well from the sudden mass purchasing of SCO drives by many commanders from across the galaxy and it's hard to see that they'd have much of a reason to want to boost that situation further. Could someone else then have a reason to attack Achilles beyond corporate rivalry? The SCO drive uses technology stripped from recently murdered Thargoid Titans so it's entirely possible that there are agents or forces in the galaxy that would take issue with that. The Thargoid cult are extremists by their very nature that, coupled with their love for the Thargoids, would seem to be ample reason to cast at least one eye of suspicion their way. Alliance space where Alioth sits at the very heart is home to some thousands if not millions of individuals that were kidnapped by the Thargoids and held in stasis aboard Thargoid Titans. The Empire and the Federation are still choosing to keep their rescued citizens in quarantine, for the moment at least. If the Alliance's rescued individuals have been coerced or co-opted somehow by their incarceration as many suspect could this then be the first signs that the Goids now have active sleeper agents operating amongst the populace of the bubble. If they're not Achilles or Sirius the questions still remain how did they get access to advanced security breaching technology and if they're not identifiable in a currently active database then just who or what are they and what are they truly trying to achieve. 
As the Thargoid War comes to an end and as the galaxy edges toward a new era of power play the only thing that is certain is that nothing is certain and neither are the motivations of the powers at work. Will you be joining the fight against the Titan Indra? Have you been exploring the lore of Elite Dangerous and who do you think is responsible for the Achilles attack and just what are they looking to achieve? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.